Hi guys, Rebecca here, and uh, today we're going to do a video on the Azores, volcanoes, and volcanic fields. The Azores are located in a contact zone of three tectonic plates, Azores Triple Junction, the North American, Eurasian, and African plates. There are nine major Azorean islands and an island cluster in three main groups. To the west are Flores and Corvo. These two lie beyond the Mid-Atlantic Rift, i.e. on the American Plate. The center group are Grecoisio, Tercia, Saint George, Pico, and Feo. And in the east, we have Seo Miguel, Santa Maria, and Formiga Reef. All along the northwest southeast trending Tertia Rift system, dividing the Eurasian from the African Plate. Together, they extend more than 600 kilometers. All the islands have volcanic origins, although some, such as Santa Maria, have no recorded activities since the island were settled. Mount Pico on the island of Pico is at 2,351 meters, and that is 7,713 feet, the highest point in Portugal. Like Hawaii, the Azores are some of the tallest mountains on the planet measured from their base at the bottom of the ocean to their peaks. And our first volcanic area is Picos Volcanic System, Azores. Nearly 200 scoria cones of the Pico Volcanic System dot the waste of São Miguel Island between Seti Citadel and Agua de Pau volcanoes. The monogenic, fissure-controlled, dominantly basaltic volcanism, much of which post-dates the roughly 5,000-year-old Fogo eruption, cannot be assigned to either volcano and appears related to in echelon fissures overlying a fracture zone. Thick pumice deposits thought to originate from the Picos volcanic system may have originated from vents or a caldera destroyed and now buried by young basalt volcanism. The most noteworthy of the young vents is 485 meter high Cerro Gorde, southeast of Sete Cedales, and the cone that produced a lava del delta south of Agua de Paul village. The majority of the inhabitants of San Miguel today on San Miguel Island occupy both coasts below this volcanic zone. At least 18 eruptions have occurred during the past 2,800 years, although the only historical eruption occurred in 1652. The most recent activity had been basaltic. However, two more explosive tritidic Eruptions occurred during the past 1,100 years. So you can see this is Sierra Gorda here. And this is the Picos Volcanic System, which is here. Agua de Paul Massif, or San Miguel. This is a stratovolcano complex located in central part of the island of San Miguel and the Portuguese archipelago of the Azores, more recognizable for the Lagoa de Fogo, which is here at the center. The volcanic complex includes centuries of geomorphological structures that include lava domes, cones, and encrusted lava flows that have marked its history from the last 4,500 years before Christ. Lagoa de Fogo lies in San Miguel Collapse Central Caldera. So this is a Collapse Central Caldera here. Now let's see if we have any views from this area. And we should have some. We'll go to the middle of the lake. How's that? Right there. Up top, and this you can see the lake here. This is really pretty. Love the views.
And moving on to the next one, Caudalario. Caudalario, the small 3 by 5 or 3.5 by 6 kilometer island of Corvo is located at the northwest end of the Azores archipelago. Corvo and its neighbor to the south Flores are the only two Azorean volcanoes located west of the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. A two kilometer wide caldera centered on the north side of the island is the most prominent feature of Corvo. The caldera 4 contains several small cinder cones and two shallow lakes. Two southwest breached pyroclastic cones erupted along a north-south trending fissure and fed lava flows that formed a platform that underlies the village of Corvo at the southern end of the island. The youngest eruption at Cor on Corvo produced a fissure-fed lava flow that reaches the sea near Punta Negra. So we're going to back up. You can see how big this is. So we're going to do a tilt. Back up. I'm going to do today. See if we have any views here. And we have some here, so we'll go and look in the caldera. And this is Corva over here. Oh, people. So this is inside of the area that we were just looking at from the outside. And it's beautiful though. And then Corvo is here. And this is Villa de Corvo over here. And moving on to the next one. Dumwell de Castro Bank. This is a large submarine volcano located in the central North Atlantic Ocean between island of San Miguel and Terceria, Tercerna, in the archipelago of the Azores. Two parasitic craters, both about 90 by 45 meters or 295 feet by 148 feet wide, are located on the northwest flank. The younger crater displays a floor consisting of Chill lava lake with polygonal surface fractures, while the older, less distinct crater is occupied by tephra deposits. And this is this area here. Our next one is Seti Citadelis. The Seti Citadelis volcano is situated on the extreme western portion of the island of San, San Miguel, occupying an area of approximately 110 square kilometers or 42 square miles, and refers to a polygenic volcano, Seti Cides Massive, and Caldera, its subaerial volume of about 70 cubic kilometers or 17 cubic miles has grown at an estimated rate of 0 0.02 to 0 0.03 cubic kilometers per century, beginning more than 210,000 years ago. The legend of Seti Citadelis has it that once upon a time, a princess and a shepherd fell in love. The king forbade the two to marry and to ever see each other again. As they bid farewell, they wept so much that the two lakes were formed from their tears. Interesting story. 
anyway this is I'm gonna take a look but this is a uh, Calderia de, de Ofres here and then you have Calderia Sica over here and we'll be looking at that one in a few minutes and you have several over here this is Santiago so let me see if we have any views We have a few here. I'm going to go over in this area. <coughs> so we're pretty much on the lake here. And this one lake is here. And the other is over here. Actually, we're on the other side, it looks like. Sorry, person. So we have the lakes here. We'll go over here on this one. So where we were was back, I believe, over in here. And there's supposed to be a bridge back in that way. That was actually we were right, yeah, we were right down, right in this area because the other lake is on the other side. I seem to just to blur and blur. There we go. And moving on to the next one, Caldera Sica. And this is Caldera Sica. And then the Alfres is here. Dalfres is here. I don't know if there's a view for this one. There's one, but I don't know if this is inside it or not. So we'll look. Nope. Only from the outside. So we'll move on to the next one, which is Pico and Das Aguas. And this is a volcanic crater. And not much more about it that I see. You got Pico Paul over here. Paul Peak here, Do Cavio there. And moving on to the next one, Sarah Gorda, which is here. Sarah Gorda is a 662 meter high and is part of the Pico Fidral region and it's also part of the Picos volcanic system and moving on to the next one Congro Congro is a volcanic lake and some of these I couldn't find a lot of information for, but I found some. So let's see if we have any views for this area. We have one over here, so we're gonna go here. Sorry, 
you guys can hear the squeaky cat. Oops. And this is a volcanic lake with gorgeous views. And moving on to the next one, Sarah Del Santa Barbara. This is a shield volcano. Tertiary Island contains four stratovolcanoes constructed along the prominent east southeast west northwest trending fissure zone that cuts across the island. Historically active Santa Barbara volcano at the western end of the island is truncated by two calderas. The youngest of these formed about 15,000 years ago. Commenditic lava domes fill and surround the caldera. Pico Alto lies north of the fissure zone and the north central part of the island and contains a Pleistocene caldera largely filled by lava domes and lava flows. Gulherm Munez caldera lies along the fissure zone immediately to the south, and seven kilometer wide Quinco Picos caldera at the southeast end of the island is the largest in the Azores. Historical eruptions have occurred from Pico Alto, the fissure zone between Pico Alto and Santa Barbara, and from the submarine vents west of Santa Barbara. Most Holocene eruptions have produced basaltic to rhyolitic. Lava, lava flows from the fissure zone transecting the island. So this is Santa Barbara here. You can also see the names is also over here as well as for the town. So we're going to see if we have any views up in this area. And we have one here in the middle. So we're going to go there. Now some of the information I had to find by looking at other ones to figure out where each one was at. So this is Santa Barbara here. I think it looks like we're way up in the air, so maybe drone. And moving on to the next one. Furnace Volcano. Furnace Volcano lies at the eastern end of San Miguel Island, immediately west of the older Nordest Shield Volcano, and its Pavacao Caldera. There are at least two calderas, a younger one that is six kilometers wide and a larger one that is less topographically distinct. The eastern wall of the 500-meter-deep Furnas Caldera overlaps the western wall of the Nordest Pavacao Caldera. Volcanic activity dates back to 100,000 years ago. At least 11 tracitic pumice layers, all erupted during the past 5,000 years, post-date the caldera. The most prominent post-caldera feature is the Pico del Gaspar Lava Dome, east of the Lagoa das Furnas Caldera Lake, a zone of late Pleistocene to Holocene basaltic to Tresidic cinder cones and lava domes is located between Furnas and Agua de Pau volcanoes. Two historical eruptions have occurred one sometime between 1439 and 1443, and the other in 1630, the latter one of the largest Holocene explosive eruptions in the Azores and caused significant damage and fatalities. So we're going to see if we have a view here for this area. And we do. So we're going to go here.
<laughs> this is a beautiful lake area. Uh, moving on to the next one, Pico Alto, Ferna de Oxfree, in Oxfree, in Oxfree. And it's also in a um, forest reserve. Pico Alto lies north of the fissure zone in the north central part of the island and contains a Pleistocene caldera largely filled by lava domes and lava flows. Forno do in Soxbury, situated in the southeastern part of the caldera, da Illa Grecosia, is an impressive lava cave whose main feature is its perfect dome shaped roof. The inside of the cave is reached via a tower roughly 37 meters high and containing a spiral staircase with 183 steps. That's wild. So what we're going to do is we got Furnace over here and Pico here. We're going to see if we have any views here. I'm going to go over here. So I think this is a staircase here, maybe. Furnace do Oxbury. I don't know if you can read that. I can read the language though. And moving on to the next one, which is also Caldelaria. And this one is Forno de Oxenfree Caldelaria over here. And I notice a lot of them have almost the same names. This is an important fumarole field is located in a volcanic cave inside the caldera and a submarine fumarole occurs off the northwest coast. Scoria cones erupted along several widely spaced northeast-southwest trending fissures, fed a youthful lava field that forms the northwest end of the island. So let's see if we have any views here. We do, so let's go over here. Check this out. I think we're in a cave here. Wow. Amazing. And moving on to the next one, Pico. This is a stratovolcano located on Pico Island in the mid-Atlantic archipelago of the Azores. It is the highest mountain of P Portugal at 2,351 meters or 7,713 feet above sea level and is one of the highest Atlantic mountains. It is more than twice the elevation of any other peak in the Azores. Pico is the highest mountain in Portugal, the Azores, and the highest elevation of the mid-Atlantic ridge. Pico is referred to as Ilha Petra, or Black Island, for its black volcanic earth. The area has craters and lake filled cones and is dominated by ancient volcano topo. Let me 
you see, I think I listed Tapa on here. Yep, okay. So let's see if we have any views on this one or around it. We do, we have some at the top, which is kind of interesting. So if we can come up here. So we're on top, I believe. And moving on to the next one, Kaplan Haas. This is Vokeo dos Kaplan Haas, meaning little capello or little cape, is a mononogenic volcano located on the western coast of the island of Fila. In the Azores, it is part of the larger volcanic complex of the Capello that includes 20 scoria cones and lava fields that are lined west-northwest of the east-southeast from the Quebeco Gordo caldera. Although the name Caplinhos is associated with the volcano, it technically refers to the western cape of the parish of Capello. It can be considered the westernmost point of Europe, and the Monique Monchik Islet, near Flores Island, also in the Azores, is considered part of the insular North America, for it seats on North American plate. On October 25th, the volcano entered a period of dormancy. It is part of an active fissural volcanic complex which creates multiple seismic and volcanic events. I don't know, maybe we have a view here, I'm not sure. So we'll see. Now we have a lighthouse up here. So we can probably come over here. So we can get amazing views here. Remember, this is Captain Haas. That's the lighthouse up here. So let's see if we can land up at the White House. Lighthouse. Hang on. We'll go back 3D because I did that wrong. Okay. Mm. He does not like now. Hang on. What are you doing? We go 2D. Okay, there we go. All right. So we go right here. There. <coughs> and we're at the lighthouse. It looks like we're back at the other area again. Oh wait, no. We're at the lighthouse. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. My view on this. And moving on to the next one. Feo Volcano and Lagoa Calderia. Calderia. Lagoa Calderia. You can see Calderia is here. And Lagoa de Calderia is here. And you can see it's one big caldera. The island of Fayol, also spelled Fayol, is the nearest of the central Azorean islands 
to the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. The island is composed of a complex large andesitic to tresitic stratovolcano that contains two kilometer wide summit caldera. Thick deposits of trexitic airfall pumice, pyroclastic flows, and lahars related to formation of the caldera blanket the island. Formation of the steep-walled 500-meter-deep caldera was followed by construction of fissure-fed basaltic lava fields and small volcanoes that form a peninsula extending to the west. This area is covered by the youngest volcanic products on the island and has been source of all historical eruptions. A dramatic submarine eruption at Kaplanhaus during 1957-58 the best studied of historical eruptions in the Azores created a new island that soon merged with the Western Peninsula. Amazing. Okay, so let's see if we can go in here. And we can. We're going to go up here, though. Maybe we get some view. looks like we're on a viewpoint here. Wow. You can tell it's a crater being, being up here on this thing. There's a walkway there. And moving on to the next one. SV Serrata. Serretta Volcano is a name given to a seabed zone located west of the coast of Tercea Island, Azores, in front of the village of Serretta, where frequent underwater eruptions have occurred along fracture lines with the east-west general direction. These eruptions have occasionally been accompanied by seismic activity, as occurred in May and June 1867, or only by microorganisms. The eruption that began on June 1, 1867, projected large columns of steam that ejected in altitude from the surface of the sea and left a shallow, still unspoiled Biaxa de Serreta. The eruption of the 1998-1999 occurred the much greater depth, 500 to 600 meters, not provoking earthquake senses. In this last eruption, the rocks hit the surface only as balloons of gas that exploded and sank immediately. There may have been other eruptions that were not detected. However, given the depth at which they occurred, is not noted. And this is Serretta here, and SV Serretta is here. So it's this area here. And moving on to the next one, SV Velas. The municipality of Velas occupies half the island of Seo George. From the northwest coast to the interior around Pico Gord. In its coincident with the western regional geomorphological zone from Pontas dos Rosias until approximately the area of Ribera Sica, and characterized by a cascade of Escorda scoria cones and axial deposits that extend along the plateau formed from fissural volcanism that originated in the faults extending from the center of the island which runs parallel along the north northwest to south southeast axis a secondary range of faults also extend slightly to the area around the town of velas the pro progress of fissural volcan volcanism runs along these accesses and has resulted in volcanic fissures features that are younger than the rest of the island. Two volcanic complexes 
had their origins in Velas. The volcanic complex of Rosias, which is less than 10 million years in age, and volcanic complex of Monadas, the older system, which is between 10 and 60 million years in age. This has resulted in vistas that are exemplified by high coastal cliffs and central plateau dotted by several splatter cones along the center, as well as fajas, which is geological debris fields or coastal deltas. The largest faja, which extends from the geological cones of Moro de Lamos and Mori Grande to the Bay of Valajas, Valas, is occupied by the principal population center, the town of Valas. You can see Velas is here. So this is the town of Velas. These are cones. Hang on one second. Sorry guys, my daughter needed me for a minute. Okay. So anyway, this is Velas here. And you can see the different cones along here that they were talking about. And critters. And moving on to the next one. SV Kuchoro. And I don't have anything, but you can look this one up under um, Wikipedia. I couldn't find anything on it. I just know that it's off of Madalena Harbor. And the next one is Monaco Bank. Monaco Bank is a submarine volcano in the Azores, which last erupted in 1911. Monaco Bank is a submarine volcano constructed along a northwest-southeast trending fissure, 20 kilometers south of the western tip of Seo Miguel Island. The linear volcano is located along regional tectonic trends connecting Seti Sedales Volcano with Santa Maria Island, southeast of Monaco Bank. The summit of the volcano rises to within 197 meters of the sea surface. Submarine eruptions took place during 1907 when a submarine cable was ruptured and 1911. And our next one is Sabrina Island. Sabrina Island was an inlet formed during the months of June and July 1811 by a submarine volcano eruption off Ponte de Feria. And this is Ponte de Feria right here. Seo Miguel Island, Azores, one of many that have been felt in the Sant Seti Sedelis Massif over time. The first person to land in the new island was Commander James Tillard captain of the British warship HMS Sabrina, who hoisted the Union Jack on the island and claimed sovereignty for Great Britain. A diplomatic row over the issue ensued, which the island's sinking back into the sea, rendering it mute. So the island that was there is sunk back into the sea. So it would have been, if we're looking, it would have been here. So it was up in this area. Our next one is Bocas de Fogo.
Bocas de Fogo is a volcano near the community of Urzalina, Velas Municipality, Seo George Island, Azores. It erupted in May and June of 1808, causing destruction and over 30 deaths in Urzalina, and producing a basaltic field of volcano rock extending to the Ponta de Urzalina. The eruption was the last sub aerial event observed in the Azores. Most recent eruptions have occurred along submarine vents with the Kapilinhas eruption in 1957 to 58, starting as a submarine eruption that eventually grew into a subaerial event, and 1998 and 2001 Serreta eruption being exclusively submarine, never breaking the surface. So let's see if we have any views for this area. And you do not appear to. Let me back up some more. We have one here. I don't know if this will be good, but we'll see one here. Wow. So you can see how how hilly the islands are. And the area that we were at is back up in here. Um, moving on to the next one, Pico Vermelho. This is a volcanic vo volcano and a volcanic field. And not much more information on it. But you can tell this is a volcanic field. This is Santa Barbara here. We do have some views over here, so we'll go over this way. That's boom, and that's the other one that we were looking at. I'm moving on to the next one. Pele pe Cabelicos. De Fogo. And this is a visual zone, but I believe there may also be a view in this area, so we're going to look. It may not be. And our next one is SV Parandella. And there's not much I can tell you about this one either. I couldn't find any information other than it is listed. The next one is Quebeco de Fogo. This, the other one was Quebecos. So this one is Quebeco de, de Fogo. The Quebeco de Fogo volcano is a volcanic belonging to the volcanic complex of Capello between Presa do Norte and Capello, Ilha de Fel, autonomous region of the Azores. Oh, 
And let's see if there's any views here. Some of these don't have any and some do. Let's see, there's a dot over here, so let's go over here. I don't know if that'll help at all. <laughs> nope, looks like a playground. Uh, not much to see here. And moving on to the next one, SV Caldelaria. And this is Laguna de Furnas back here. This is a caldera lake with fumaroles. And our next one is Mysterio de Cuamada. And this is also a fissure zone. And I couldn't find anything else listed on it, but you can see this is Santa Barbara. So you have the Picarito over here and Agua de Mosa San Miguel over here. And this is Album Mortero de Caldera over here. And moving on to the next one, Lagoa Sica. This is a small lake at the height of 600 meters above sea level near Lagoa Negra and Lagoa Camprida. And it also looks like it may be a caldera. Let me see if we have any views. I don't have any views for this one. We do have views for these ones here, for Lagoa Branca and Lago Lagoa Comprite. And moving on to the next one. This one is also marked as volcanic. Quebecos Domesterio. And this is also a fissure zone. And no views there. The next one is Pico do Gaspar. And this is also on the other side of Lagoa de Fernas. This is a splatter clone, the calderas of Achada de Fronas, a type of rocky formation formed by volcanoes, which offer a fabulous walk to the caves that give off mystor mystical aura with its clouds of evaporating steam. The hot springs are used for spa purposes at the prominent health centers of Fronas. So 
So let's see, we have any view. We do. There's one there. Yay. Let's go there. And moving on to the next one, Madeira. Madeira Island is the emergent top of a massive shield volcano that rises about six kilometers from the, from the floor of the Atlantic Ocean and forms the largest island of the Madeira Archipelago, about 90 kilometers in length. Construction of the volcano along east-west trending rift zones from the Miocene to about 700,000 years ago was followed by a period of extensive erosion and possible edifice collapse. Two steep-walled amphitheaters sit to south, sit steep-walled amphitheaters open to south in the central park of the island. Late stage eruptions are scattered throughout the island and lasted until the Holocene, producing scoria cones and intracanyon lava flows, mantling rocks of the older eroded edifice. The youngest activity at Madeira lies in the west central part of the island and consists of cinder cones in the upper Sao Vincent Valley, a series of intracanyon flows and tougher layers on top of Paul. De Serra Plateau, dated at about 6,500 years ago. Which is really neat. So I can give you a better idea of what it looks like here. And moving on to the next one, Picarito. And this is Cinder Cones. So if we look, you can see a lot more here too. This is So this looks like there's three cinder cones here. And moving on to the next one, Pico de Ariel. I don't have any info on this one. But what we'll do is we'll land here. Let me see over here. Looks like radio station, maybe. This is part of Madurio. So these are the ones that are the ones I just mentioned. <laughs> 
Pico Rufo. Which is here. And Picos das Torres, which is here. And our next one is Magdalena Harbor. This is two islets at the entrance to the Madeleine Harbor, formed from a submerged crater. So that would be these two areas here. Let's see if we have any views over here. We do, we'll go here. So you can see the one side's over here. And this one's broke up, so that would be on this side. And moving on to the next one, Topo. is here. Topo Volcano, located on the southeast coast, it corresponds to an ancient volcano destroyed by erosion and landslides. So that is within this area here. I don't know if there's a view in this area or not. So I see some over in here. We'll go here, see. There we go. So it would be up in that area. And moving on to the last one, San George. Fissure vent, the remarkably linear island of San George, Seo George, is 54 kilometers long and only 5 kilometers wide. It was formed by fissure fed eruptions beginning in the eastern part of the island. The western two thirds of the dominantly basaltic San George contains youthful fissure fed lava flows resembling those on neighboring Pico Island. Subburial lava flows issued from three locations above the south central coast during 1580, producing lava flows that reached the sea. In 1880, in 1808, a series of explosions took place from vents along the south central crest of the island. One of those fed a lava flow that also reached the southern coast. Submarine eruptions were reported on several occasions from vents off the southern and southwest coasts. And let's see if we have any views for these areas here. We have one. Yeah, people. <laughs> Check this out.
by the view. Anyways, you guys, thank you for viewing my video. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, and share. Check below the video for useful links. Thank you. Much love, and we'll see you on our next video.